What's up everybody? My name is Hong Nguyen and I'm here for a Golden Nugget book review. So today we're back with this book right here. We're going to extract from this book, Will Durant, The Greatest Minds and Ideas of All Time. So we're going to look at the section where he talks about the 10 peaks of human progression, right? So I just want to see if I'm saying that right. Was 10 peaks? Yes, the 10 peaks of human progress. So the greatest... 10 greatest uh, things that happened to us, you know, that progressed humanity. All right, so this is not the first time I, there's actually 10 of them, right? Like the, uh, like the title suggests. So we're actually at the fourth one and this, it's agriculture. So we might take it for granted, right? But agriculture is what uh, enabled civilization to begin, right? Because before that, we were hunter-gatherers, so we just had to hunt for food and stuff like that. And of course, man had to run around, and the woman was at home, so all the men had to go hunting. And, you know, so it wasn't the best, uh, we weren't able to really start a civilization. Like, only when, civ only when we, we uh, developed agriculture, right, through time, that's when we were able to, uh, man was able to stay home. And from there, we're able to all work together, raise families, have enough food supply, and then build, right? Because if you kept on moving all over the place, I mean, you can't really put down roots or do anything. Okay, so let me just read this for you. Uh, it's quite a long uh, paragraph, so I'm just going to segment it out for you guys. So, first things first. Agriculture. Civilization was impossible in the hunting stage. It called for a permanent habitat, a settled way of life. So that's what I just said. So, right, like if um, if we didn't settle down, we weren't able to settle down, we weren't able, civilization wasn't going to happen. Okay, on to the next one. Now, no doubt it took centuries to make this greatest of all transitions in human history. But when at last it was made, civilization began. So that's just to reinforce the uh, that point that I made. Now, check this out. This is super interesting. But... It was woman who gave man agriculture and the home. She domesticated man as she domesticated the sheep and the pig. Man is woman's last domestic animal. And perhaps he is the last creature that will be civilized by woman. The past is just begun. And one looks at our menu reveals us as still in the hunting stage. Well, that last part, I didn't understand about the whole menu thing. Uh, I'll have to think about that and maybe reread it. But essentially what it's saying is that it's all... And, and one of the things um, uh, I didn't read that, that was in this paragraph is that, well, when women start developing agriculture, right, because the man was gone, so she tend to, you know, the animals and, and the agriculture and slowly develop through thousands and thousands of years, I would imagine. And... What happened is that after that, sometimes the man would come home empty-handed, but the woman would have food, right? And then once it became like, uh, once a woman developed and, and, and the methods were, were refined enough, after that, well, the man didn't have to go anywhere. He just had to stay there. And also, like, the man was becoming more and more, how do you say, uh, as women got better at agriculture, the man became less and less relevant. So the man, st you know, like, he... To, to stay relevant, well, I guess he had to stay home and, uh, you know, help out, right, with the chores, so to speak. So that's super interesting. Um, I never thought of it that way. I hope uh, that, that you know, brings a, a little smile to your faces there, all you women out there watching this video. And, um, yeah, so that's it. So, once again, uh, I make these videos, and sometimes, like, understanding our past, our history, why things came to be, I mean, it helps with clarity and foresight. And clarity and foresight, I find, brings wisdom. So it might not be something you can use right away, but it's definitely something that can open your mind and benefit you, uh, your life in general. So I hope you guys, uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, I hope you guys agree. Um, let me know in the comments, right? And if you do, I'll keep making these videos. And if you don't, I, I, I'll still keep making these videos. I, I love making this, this stuff. This is really who I am. I read and uh, I keep reading. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, sharing is caring, and of course, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much, and done.